Hey guys, Cold Over the Mountain Cruisers, back again. This time I've got a 1979 FJ43 Land Cruiser that we're going to go over. This is a South American truck. I believe it's from Colombia. It's either Colombia or Venezuela. But it was imported about four years ago. Um, there was a guy in Birmingham that used to import these uh, for several years. Um, but this truck, uh, this is a, an interesting one because it's what I like to call lipstick on a pig. It's got great paint, really nice new soft top, great new leather interior, but from a mechanical aspect, um, it's definitely, it's definitely been neglected. So this truck's been in the shop, um, you know, uh, over the past year, really, for a lot of different things. We have had a lot of issues with it running. Um, you know, it, when we first got it, it would only run on full choke. Um, like two of the brakes worked, like one on each front and rear axle. The timing was way off. And it just, you know, it, a lot of it had been neglected, like I said. So. This last round of upgrades, what we have done, we put in a new Toyota gas tank. Uh, the customer had intermittent starting and running issues with it. Uh, so it, it run great for a long time and then all of a sudden wouldn't start or wouldn't have right power. And so we've been thinking that it probably has rust in the gas tank because we've kind of looked through everything else. Um, turns out it was rusty, so we replaced it. We also replaced the distributor with a new Toyota uh, non-USA distributor, and a wealth of other stuff. We just did a carb rebuild on it. It's got the factory A's in carb, which is nice. Uh, the last time we were in here, we put new plugs in it, new wires, a new water pump, a new thermostat. We converted the straight fan to put a fan clutch in it uh, with the updated water pump. And, oh, we also went through the brakes. So it's got new, so with a, with FJ43s in South American trucks, no matter the year, they have drum brakes in the front and no power steering. So we replaced wheel cylinders, front and rear, all eight, new brake shoes. Uh, we just put new brake drums on the rear. I ordered four uh, from not Toyota. Uh, come to find out Toyota still does make drums before I did not know that. Um, so the two aftermarket that we got fit the rear, they do not fit the front. The depth of the drum, these are what I assume are factory drums, um, and the, like the depth of these is a lot deeper than the new drums we got. But the issue with that we've run across, James and I have had, we probably bled this truck 10 times, and we would always get, we'd bleed it um readjust the wheel cylinders we would have to readjust the wheel cylinders to where they were literally the adjustments were all the way out bled the truck you know eight to ten times and still we're not getting consistent contact on the first pump it would take sometimes three sometimes six pumps to even get any kind of brake contact so what we came to or come to learn is the stock what I presume original front disc and rear, or sorry, front drums and rear drums are completely worn out, way out of spec. I measured the inside diameter of the old drums that were on the front compared to our new aftermarket drums, and there was about like half an inch of difference, which is pretty substantial. So we put the ones on the rear. Um, we got to adjust, or put the adjusters way back down, um, which is really good, got them tight. So the rear is good. Um, I, like I said, the new drums that we got don't fit right on the front. So then I learned that Toyota still makes drums. Um, I cross-referenced some stuff on Toyo DIY, looked up FJ43 front drums. They're a different part number than FJ40 drums, but they don't make the 43 drum part number anymore. So I've got 40 drum from Toyota coming Monday. So we will see if they actually fit. I really hope so. If not, I don't know what we're going to do. Um, but other than that, we've done a lot of little small things here and there. It's got um, new wheel bearings. The, the front end has been rebuilt. It's got new caster shims and U-bolts because uh, it was 
It has a lift and some kind of shack lift or maybe aftermarket springs on it, but it never had caster shims in it. And so it would dart all over the place and just didn't steer great. You put those in, it's a lot better. So it's slowly getting there, but I'll shut up and do a walk around real quick so you guys can see a little more in detail. I think this color is Heath Gray. It's really, I really like it. With the tan top, it really sets it off. I think this is a Spectre off-road top, but it's got two zippers on the side uh, and you can roll it up, which is pretty cool. And then the interior color on this is really nice. We've also, we had to fix the door latch and we also put in a new fuel sending unit and a lot of, lot of little stuff here and there. Uh, but yeah, the inside's in really good condition. There's 16 inch split rims, 255, 85, 16 KM2s, BF Goodrich. We also replaced the brake master cylinder. Uh, the original one was leaking in the rear. Hopefully it didn't damage the booster. Um, I don't, I think we caught it pretty early. Um, but yeah, I mean these, the South American trucks are pretty straightforward. It doesn't have any emission stuff on here, which is really nice. Um, so the engine bay is really clean. You can see the new water pump in there and the fan clutch. It really quieted it down compared to the straight blade. So other than that, we've got to fix, you know, dial in the brakes, get those ready. Um, and then this truck should be ready to go. And, oh, the last thing we did, we added this high lift jack. So the mounting system we used, it's an FJ company mount. And so it comes with this base plate. You've got to drill into the factory boards. Um, and it's got a pin right here that you pull out and then you just undo this little knob right here and it all slides out, but it's super solid. Uh, it's really, really well built. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. If you would like to see more videos that's maybe different than this, this is just more of a, I guess you'd say walk around or more in depth of trucks we're working on, but I might try and do some more hands-on while we're actually working on stuff and either do maybe a time lapse or, um, you know, real life, whatever you want to call it to where we're, when we're working on something, you know, kind of walk you guys through, through the steps and everything. So anyways, hope you guys have a good day and thanks for watching.